Alrighty guys, welcome back to a very special Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. This looks like utter f madness. <laughs> so, lordy. So Becky did go live last night. I watched a bit of it and then I just finished watching like some of it. Becky didn't really say anything, um, in regards to our girl. Just kind of, like, answered really basic questions and fumbled with <laughs> the live stream for the first half, which is fine. I bet that shit is really confusing. I just figured it's probably not worth, like, reacting to, really. But she made a lot of money, <laughs> let me tell you that. God damn. Amber's definitely going to be pissed off about that. Also want to address some things now, just like looking back at the whole situation type deal that she posted yesterday. I, she's got to be lying about the apartment thing, you guys. Because like, unless this, this footage can't be that old and it can't be like that. I don't know. Like, how is it possible that she goes from having like four or five that she really likes to all of a sudden messaging like 20 people she says and then she's approved within like the first five minutes how is that a thing that can't that cannot be possible like it truly can't unless she's just talk talking to like scammers but like how is that possible i mean it's obvious our girl has never done this before so like how is it just going this smoothly and this quickly for her like how i really think she's just like full-on lying guys i really do i i think she's either moving in with this quote unquote friend or she's probably gonna go move in with mom She's talking to people in Virginia again, so she's probably going back there. And we're back to the return of the cold sore as well. Lovely. Anyways, guys, this is Not Feeling Well, Vlogmas Day 14. Trust me, I know, it seems similar to the last one we did. <laughs> um, that one was Not A Good Day, Vlogmas Day 13. So, let's see how... Amber unleashes her rage now that Becky is probably home from having a good time with her family. 113,000 views, 1.4 thousand thumbs up. Let's just dive right in, guys, and see what the biggie's got to say. Hey, guys. So, welcome to Vlogmas. I'm pretty sure day 14. So, I wasn't feeling the greatest yesterday, and I'm still not it. Girl, you... Yeah, it does not look it, hon. It does not look it. <laughs> I'm just... Ugh, just not doing the greatest. Among my anxiety, I'm also like just really ugh, nauseous. My stomach hurts. So I think what I'm gonna do is, which I've never done, is I'm going to fast for 38 hours about. I already fasted for about eight of those hours. Yeah, I think I slept for eight hours last night, which was really actually great. <laughs> I love how she considers sleeping active fasting. Oh my God. Just <laughs> the time when she physically can't eat because she's sleeping while she fasted. Jesus Christ, Amber. So that doesn't really count, but I don't want to eat. Wait, Correct. Correct. Doesn't really count. All those boxes don't mind that, but I don't want to eat. Sorry, I keep looking outside because there's people walking with like a bunch of grocery bags and I can't. She was sitting there wondering what they got for food. Like take my eyes off of them. I'm such a people watcher. It's really weird. So I don't want to eat at all today and I don't want to eat through the night, obviously. And I want to eat when I wake up tomorrow. A little nervous. Um, I have gone 24 hours without eating um, a few times and it's really just been like on accident or I did it on Thanksgiving because I was doing old math for those days. So I didn't gain weight. Da, da, da. A lot of people are like, I was unhealthy, but... It stopped me from then. Amber, at this point, not eating for a couple days is probably healthier than continuing to live your life at that size, if we're being really fucking honest. And I'm not one to promote that type of shit, but like, come on, girly, we gotta watch those pounds fall off, so. We're gonna see how this treats me. I'm just not feeling the greatest. And I hate that I had to come on here yesterday's video and talk about that talk about my anxiety because a lot of people aren't sympathetic and i put myself in the position to like sit there and read the comments and i need to stop and that just like made it worse so i just need to not read the comments girl i bet because everyone caught on to your little game pretty quickly i think just because you know you're ignorant to why you do and 
say the things that you do. I think that's why it doesn't compute in your brain, but a lot of people understand, Amber. I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do comment of the day. I just I can't and it's just really messing with my mental state because it's just so cruel. But YouTube is gonna start being restricted with hate comments, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> Girl, that did nothing for you, did it? Did nothing for you. She read hate comments. Like probably more so on the lines of slurs, Amber, is what they meant they're going to be getting more stricter about. And you were just like, well, they called me fat. <laughs> they tell the truth in my comments. <laughs> they call me a manipulator. That's hate. I can get that flagged, right? No. Dipshit. <laughs> It's gonna make the environment a lot better place in my opinion. Anyways, I just hate- Not for you, hon. <laughs> that, that policy change was not for you. Here and she's like, oh, I don't feel good, oh, I'm having anxiety, or oh, today my depression's worse than usual. Like, I hate doing that, but it's vlogmas, so you guys are going to- She loves it, please. <laughs> those days, and I feel like I should be, like, safe enough to talk about those things, you know? So it's really gloomy outside, and normally for the average person, that'll make them feel worse, but it kind of makes me feel a little bit better for some reason. Like, I love rain, it's supposed to rain all day today. It hasn't started, oh, sprinkling, eh, it's gonna sprinkle a little bit. If you guys hear that noise, Wasabi's on his little scratcher, he loves that thing. <laughs> Oh, what did you guys think of the new um, intro? <laughs> I made that myself the other night. So right now we're actually going to Walmart. We're gonna do like gingerbread and like snowflake and whatever, like cookie decorating. Um, we have these little things to where we can do like the outline of the cookie and what we wanna make. So I'm gonna go buy like a lot of the little decorating things. Eric and Ricky are gonna buy like some too and the dough and stuff like that. I don't like eating actual gingerbread. I don't really like the flavor of it, but decorating to me is like really fun. So. That is our plan for the night. So I'm gonna show you some of the things I got because this is how much Eric got. Hello. So, oh yeah, let me check one. So when she said, during this era, when she said that she was going to be fasting, all it meant was she's not gonna show what she's eating on camera. That's all it was. <laughs> Trust and believe. Cause this girl was eating. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have the time for our life tonight. So I also got some more of these. So this is just sugar cookie dough cause they didn't have gingerbread. Oh, I don't like gingerbread. I even told YouTube that. So it's like. See, so she's gonna be. I mean, most gingerbread, you have to like make it because it's not a real cookie. It's like. It tastes different. Unless you're making like a gingerbread man. Anyways. Pff, girl, of course. See, she's all excited. They had the sugar cookie, so she can eat it now. So that's like. I feel bad for y'all, but. Oh, sugar cookies. Oh, you like sugar cookies? Okay. White icing. You see, see how much better she's feeling now that she's got some food in front of her. Purple icing, yellow icing, pink icing. We got hella sprinkles, so I just, I mean, there's even more. Let's just say this whole bag is full, okay? Huh? Like, Jesus we don't Christ. have to show all that, like it's crazy. Oh my God, Amber. Um, we got some eyeballs, because who knows when we're gonna need those. We got some cutters. Eric and already had some, but this had like all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, like a variety, and can you imagine this girl waddling up to the checkout and like the total being hundreds of dollars and just being like, how is this bitch got money to pay for all this? I'm not like super cliche, like of course I'll do a lot of Christmas, like decorating, but <laughs> I like to do like other stuff. So I got these flowers. I got, well obviously here's some Christmas. Trees, lights, snowmen. Um, and these are reindeers and Santa. There's only one Santa and some elves. Yeah, so I get a Santa, I'm just kidding. And then look, I got roses, so. Yo. Girl, buy. That's so much stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna lay this all out and show you guys. Look, we're gonna have the time of our life. Look at all this. And Eric and Ricky got. Oh my god. Pens where you can draw on them. That's so cool. So they're hard at work over here. Eric started doing it on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me show them what you guys have done. Oh, here they are. Look. Dang, you guys are good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that one. That's cute. I guess that's a snowflake. What about you? Oh, uh, okay. They're just decorating cookies. Not doing like gingerbread houses. Okay. Still, all those decorations just for some cookies? Why why are you cooking a baby? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> are you doing it, babe? Yeah. And then we have two more of those. I'm excited. So from my remembrance, this is the first time I've ever rolled dough. Pre made dough, but how do you do it? <laughs> what the heck? Wait, what is it? Oh my god. 
Watching this back and editing, all I can hear is her heavy breathing. I hate people that are just incapable, you know? Like, unless you're an elderly person, a little kid, or someone with, like, a disability. I don't have much sympathy for incapable people, like, that just can't seem to do the most mundane of things. I find it so fucking annoying. Yes, I was like, earlier. Now it's just. Why is it sticking? Oh my god. It's like it's hard to kind of like work with first. She's so fucking dumb. Wow. Wait a minute. Amber. <laughs> ah! Was it? Amber. Oh my god. She is so stupid. Oh, was nice. Yeah, probably some more. Like you have to put it on like, uh, the wrong pin too. Okay. Well, that was a fail. I'm gonna I'm fix that. What'd you make? What was it? Almost that princess. <laughs> Same. What's been your favorite um design? Oh, what about your hair? I don't know. I like that. I think that one's like or an angel. I don't know. That looks like an angel. That's what I thought. I was like, oh. Who knows? I like the one like the snowflakes. Uh, Maybe like the snowflake or the tree. Or the maybe. No, this is a, I like the snowflake. I like the oh, Becky seems really like sluggish and slow in this video. I like the tree. Oh, yeah, lots of candy canes and trees. <laughs> so I got a lot of this set out so it's easier to get to. We have the sprinkles and stuff still in here. You guys, look how cute this is. Candy canes, trees, gingerbread, snow, stockings, and these cute, really, these really cute designs here. See, we got like different colors. Like this is very Easter. But yeah, why'd you grab it? <laughs> Some sparkly ones. So we are finished decorating. The shapes didn't come out as planned. Jesus Christ. But that's okay. So all of these are Eric and Ricky's, Becky's, Becky's. And then these are mine. We have candy cane, snowflake, Christmas tree, gifts, Kermit, space. Those are actually supposed to be planets. And then here I have no Oh, a Kermit. Karina. She was this the beginning? <laughs> yeah, but these took me forever to do, and I'm very proud. So you guys should tell me in the comments below which one your favorite is. I honestly love this one the best because it's just like random. I also really love my gifts. So like I said in the beginning of this vlog, I know you guys are used to. Of course, she loves everything that she does. Anything she touches is gold. The vlog with comment of the day, but I feel like for my mental health, I just I shouldn't do it because there's just a lot of mean comments. And when I do do comment of the day, like there are such things where people say I should die and just like vile things that I actually skip over that I don't even want to add in comment of the day. So you guys haven't even seen like the rough parts of it, but I had a pretty decent day. Started off rocky, got a little better. It was fun decorating um, with my friends and my girlfriend, but no. Girlfriend who's just laying down, facing as far away from you as possible. I'm kind of queasy again. So it must've been something I ate a few days ago. Like I honestly don't know, but ever since, um, Girl, maybe it's the eggs. <laughs> Two days ago, I've just been feeling kind of queasy. But yeah, um, I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next one. Bye. Good grief. She is a wreck, <laughs> ain't she, guys? Amber, I'm not reading comments. Also, Amber, tell me in the comments below what your favorite cookie is. <laughs> it's really just for her to get the engagement up. Can't imagine why you're not feeling well. You've had a bladder infection for over a month. You're recovering from cellulitis. You continue to eat food you claim to be allergic to, and you're 600 pounds. It's a mystery. <laughs> Constructive criticism. Critiquing your choices, showing concerns, and disagreeing with you are not hate comments. Amber Lynn. <laughs> well, to her they are, because she hates them. <laughs> right? It reminds me of the scene from The Office where he's like, well, that's not a hate crime. And he's like, well, it's a crime. And I hated it. <laughs> I like Becky's cookie that says F off the best. Oh, you know who that was towards. She probably showed it up and was like, you're pookie, look. <laughs> it's no wonder Becky is depressed. I'd be miserable if I were stuck with you. True. I love when Amber tries to roll the dough. She gives... 0.06% effort then gives up. You know Becky had to finish it. And even though she was all zombied out on fucking mood stabilizers to deal with Amber, she probably was still able to do it better. As a cake slash cookie baker and decorator, I have found that for cutout cookies, it helps for the dough to be super cold to keep their shape. Okay, girl. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so that was that video. Very exciting, right? <laughs> Let's go find our next one. You notice, though, how as soon as Becky gets home, then the anxiety goes away. More short content, guys. This video is almost only nine minutes as well. Um, great snack idea. Vlogmas Day 15. 
So, you know, right back into the food content. As usual, like everything else, our girl just can't help herself. 102,000 views, 1.2 thousand thumbs up. I guess fasting is done with. We're on to snacking. Hey guys, so it's Hormis Day 15. I look a wreck because I am all day. I'm talking, it's my time now. All day, I've been cleaning, decluttering, organizing. Now I have everyone's gifts before me and I'm putting them in gift bags. It's just, it's been a madhouse. Um, I didn't want to vlog any of that because it's like, I needed just like time to myself, I guess, which is really weird. It's hard to explain, but it was more so me just like decluttering and cleaning out of like, I wanted my anxiety to go away because as you guys know, I've been suffering with really bad anxiety. Becky's been really patient with me, which I'm appreciating. So I just wanted to- <laughs> We know what that's code for. Becky's being really patient with me equals I'm being an annoying, needy bitch. And get like, hi. So I don't want to show you guys, obviously, any of the gifts of anyone that's like adult that I know because they watch my videos. But I wanted to show you. This is this is one of the gifts we got for um, Becky's baby nephew. He's almost three, right, babe? Yeah. God, I still call him a baby. He's actually taller. A toddler. You guys. A, B, C, D. Instead of A, C, D, C. Isn't that the cutest little thing ever? Oh my god. When I saw that, I actually saw it on Amazon. I was like, no, you didn't. I think I'm gonna fold it to where they have to like actually open it up to see what it says because I want it to be like I wish y'all could see my face right now. I'm so uninterested. <laughs> Big surprise because I feel like everyone's really gonna love it. Super cute. Hopefully they're not watching this video. I mean, who knows? Who knows? I just thought that was so freaking cute. I had to show you guys because the freaking cat delivered in just a few days. So if you guys I thought this lighting is crazy. If you guys know some someone who's a little boy and you're buying for them, super cute. All you have to do is search that on um Amazon. You guys, I have a ton she of buys everything from Amazon or Walmart. Ugh. Christmas gift bags because this is what I use every year. I don't wrap good at all, so I want people to actually. Well, you don't wrap well. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Opening the gift for me so it doesn't look like a haggard mess. So gift bags is all or gift. They're called gift bags, right, babe? Yes. I'm out of my mind. <laughs> they they just work better. So I'm trying to get Eric and Ricky stuff like out of the way so they don't come home and see it because they went to the Walmart real quick. So yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys, say hello. I'm not sure what this vlog has in store. I do apologize. Like I feel like I started vlogging this with a bang and we're just at that point where it's like, I'm boring. I don't know. Girl, it's always been boring. I don't know how she thought the beginning was any more fun compared to this. So I feel like I don't need to talk about this because it's really not that important. But I'm getting a lot of people asking like, what's on my lip? Da -da -da -da. So just a real quick, you know, explanation. I've been getting this since I was a very, very little girl. Like, very, very little girl. So you've had herpes since you were a little kid? <laughs> very, very young girl. I was probably five first time I got it. So it happens every winter. It is herpes, but before you guys get all like, oh my god. <laughs> yep. An STD, I want you guys to know it's herpes simplex, which is not an STD, and a lot of people have it. This is the HSV1. I mean, yeah, no shit, Amber. Everyone knows about this by this point. Like, everyone has it to some degree. Everyone knows this. It's just kind of what you deal with being people, like a species, you know? Diseases and stuff spread through species very quickly over time, especially when there's a high population of them. Which means it's not an STD for the millionth time. Herpes STD is HSV2. So you guys can do all your research, talk to doctors, because I've done it several times, because obviously, like, as I got older, people started making fun of me about it, and I was like, what? Because it was something so common that I've had my whole life that I was, like, so confused. So I did talk to doctors about it when I was a teenager, and it's just something I deal with every winter, like, first the end of fall, beginning of winter, and I'm not ashamed. I really don't care. I just know that a lot of people have been asking about it, and there are some people who are, like, making fun of me, but I literally don't care. Like, I don't decide this. It happens to a lot of people. So I just wanted to give my explanation, and... Yeah, that's, a, that's fine and dandy. It still looks gross. <laughs> it's actually not that bad this time. Usually it gets real bad. Like, my top lip is, like, super swollen. Ew. Ew, girly. Don't tell us that. It's disgusting. So I'm just grateful that this time it's, it's pretty mellow. It's pretty low-key. <laughs> so I am making a simple soup with just broth, onion, and potato. I made it the other night. But I want to show you guys the actual ingredients I use. So I use half of an onion, a full potato, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, minced onion, and chicken cubes. So that's literally everything. Oh, and water. Duh. Okie dokie. So, stand them up. Oh my god. Just, Why do you have to put us in the fridge, girl? My camera, but it's the end of the night. Wow. You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> you guys are sitting in my fridge, so. But I. So go to bed. Just go to bed. Don't be fucking looking in the fridge. Hey. I'm cramping really bad on my period. A little update. self water infection. My antibiotic didn't work. So on Monday. Gross. I'll be calling to make another appointment for my doctor, which I'm scared. But it is what it is. So. Dog, how, how does it get this bad? 
I mean, I know how, but like, Jesus Christ. I want to show you guys this bomb snack I've been having. So, oh wait, this is the one I've tried. I haven't tried this one. These are by Sargento. There's cheddar cheese, sea salted roasted almonds, raisins, Greek yogurt flavored drops, only 190 calories per one, but. So she's going to eat all three? The one that I have tried and loved. Natural cheddar cheese, milk chocolate chunks, raspberry flavored dried cranberries, and graham crackers. It's only 170 calories, so it looks like freaking bomb. I was getting messages about the cookies. I'm not eating any of those. Ooh, we're in the dark. Um, whoa into a wall i'll talk to you in a second so what i was saying in the kitchen is that the cookies we decorated yesterday i don't eat those because when i'm decorating cookies i don't think of it as like oh i'm eat these i'm more so just think of it think of it as like oh i'm doing like art or it's just like an art project girl okay bitch please you know you fucking ate them Most, like i sound like a little child but like that's how i look at it because the candies and the icing and stuff that's on top i don't like that stuff like i know a lot of people were super confused because girl like, bye I was asking people like then why are you eating cookies i wasn't eating cookies i was decorating cookies so Girl, please, then why were you so fucking excited that they didn't have gingerbread and you had to get sugar cookies? Huh? Why were you so excited then? Yeah, shut the fuck up. There are other people in the house who do eat them. I just personally think, like, the candy I put on top of it, it has, like, a nail polish taste. And I was trying to explain that to Eric, and he was like, I don't think so, but to me, it's just no good. I like doing stuff like that. Just So, she tried it. She knows what it tastes like. Girl, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. So, yeah, um... I'm sorry that today's vlogmas was no bueno. I literally have done nothing but clean today, even though I've been in horrible pain. All this I'd give her less shit if she was just honest and was like, yeah, I ate the whole plate. I would be like, girl, come on now. But I, I would be more appreciative of it, I guess, than her feigning daintiness. <laughs> it's helping with my anxiety, like for sure. And I think it's just because, like, it's the holidays and I miss my family and I wish I could talk to my brother, but I can't. And there's just certain things going on with my family that just, like, breaks my heart. Call whatever county prison he's in, girl. It's, like, nothing I can do type thing. And that's just, like, the hardest part for me. And I wish I was with my family and it's, like, I'm not. And I know it could be a lot of people will probably say things like, well, you could be if you were skinny, you could go fly to them, da 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 It's not that easy because I have so many people here, like, ugh. I have, like, just a lot of Christmas things here, which I'm grateful for, but, you know. <sighs> it's, hard, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say. And it's just Christmas time is just one of those times where you really think about family and it's like, when I start thinking about family, I also experience sorrow and sadness and like bad memories. Those are all things I need to heal from. And I've really been thinking about seeing a therapist because as you- Girl, pfft. she was still like almost 30 by this point and <laughs> we're at this, we're still going on about this. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I did start seeing a counselor. It was about, I don't know, over a year ago, and it just did not go well. I did not jive with her, so I've definitely been thinking about seeing someone else, but not a counselor, seeing a therapist. So I'm just rambling at this point. I just I do want to apologize for the not very good vlog, but I still hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, none of them are ever good, girly, so if it makes you feel better. Slayton's got a TV show, Chantal, Chant, yeah, Chantal, Chantal, how do you pronounce her name? Chantal got a shout out from Trisha and Coldest Waterball sponsor sponsorship, and Amber got nothing <laughs> of course because she's i mean beauty beauty is not so great of a person either but i mean hey <laughs> alr explaining her ailments is the equivalent to this one time at band camp from american pie <laughs> i don't look at decorating cookies as something i can eat i see it as art <laughs> right like you know she had to really fucking think hard about that one because that's it just sounds so fucking ridiculous i love how she gave us a whole segment about cold sores lmao <laughs> Wait, in her vlog yesterday when she was doing her cookie decoration haul, she and she she said she doesn't like the taste of gingerbread and was cheering that Walmart didn't have those in stock. Right. So she got the sugar cookie dough and was super happy about it. If she had to explain why she wasn't eating the cookies at all and just decorating them, why does it matter the type of dough they use? Exactly. <laughs> it's not that hard to, like, really remember the lies that she tells and whatnot, but I think she's just so lazy and dumb that she can't remember and she doesn't bother to remember this just goes to show that all the positive comments at the start of blog vlogmas and praise and well wishes doesn't do jack shit she doesn't want to change exactly that's why even now if she is losing the weight like <laughs> I ain't giving her those ass pats until we see a significant drop and maintaining it off. You know for a fact she's giving up when her vlogs are under 10 minutes. I mean, true, the next one is a little bit longer, and this would be 
Again, another really short video. Alrighty, so we're going to do a triple feature. I don't know what the fuck to call it. We're just going to do three videos today since she wasn't given. So here's some pre-recorded content for sure. Giving back Vlogmas Day 16, 2019. 90,000 views, damn, significant drop, <laughs> 1.6 thousand thumbs up. I know you like the longer content, and I didn't want to do another video that's like supposed to be the long form content, and then it's under 30 minutes. Let's just dive right in. Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Hi, Ember. Wow, I literally can't believe it. <laughs> just crazy, but it's already Vlogmas Day 16. She's got makeup on. I'm wearing two different earrings right now. I'm trying to decide which ones I want to wear, which I actually do this a lot. I'll put both on and see how I'm feeling. This one I feel like dresses the dress up a little bit more. This one might dress it down. I don't know. I wish I could be like, hey guys, which one should I wear? But I can't because I would have already chosen by this time. So I'm gonna choose real quick and I'll be right back. Just go for the hoop, Amber. It's simple enough. The other one makes it look trashy. Me looking in the mirror trying to decide which one I prefer. Ugh. I don't know. What if I wear both? <laughs> I have such a crazy mess behind me. Please don't mind that. I mean, girl, to be fair, I don't think people are lo even looking at your earrings. <laughs> so. <laughs> Clean all that up. I have been doing my facial cleaning. I have to show you guys all the stuff I cleaned yesterday where um, I decided I'm going to get rid of like a lot of stuff, which I do all the time, but like I'm like literally deep cleaning and it's not even spring. Okay. So I decided, I decided to just wear the hoops to keep it like a low key moment. Um, I do love these because I felt like it brought out, oh my gosh, this camera. Okay. I felt like it brought out the maroon. Who knows? So. That's that, and I actually used my vanity as a place to do my makeup, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while, um, I finally did it. So, we we're actually about to go to the store. I will say I'm very proud of myself, because last time I went grocery shopping was a week ago, so, woo woo! Actually, I think it was seven days ago, because it was last Monday, Monday, today's Sunday. But I've been going, like, a lot lately, and it's like, I need a- Oh, did I father? Sorry. Ooh, that girl's big bad. God damn. Did you not see her, babe? Yeah, no, I didn't. She was flying by right there! Dang! So, uh- No, your girlfriend's just so drugged up. Ugh. Of course, Becky shouldn't have been driving, but Amber definitely forced her to. What was I saying? <laughs> I used to go grocery shopping, like, a few times a week, which I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, when you buy fresher food, like, you're gonna go to the store more. But anyways, that's where we're going. We're actually gonna get a bite to eat first. I'm not really sure. Like, I want sushi, but it's still kind of up in the air. We have time to think about it. So we're currently in a predicament. Can you guys see? Uh, I don't know if you see Becky. She just went into the car. Um, we were driving down the road, and there was, like, this big truck in front of us, and we couldn't obviously... And then still just uh, fucking making Becky do everything. Oh my God. Because there was a big truck in front of us. So as soon as we saw it in the middle of the road, there was something red. I don't know what it was, but we couldn't, how do I explain that? Because the truck was in front of us, we couldn't see it because it happened so quickly that we ran over whatever the red thing is. And then all of a sudden, it sounded like something was dragging. The red thing's under the car and you can't get it. What do we do? She looks distraught, hold on. What, what do you mean, what do we do, Amber? You just continue to fucking sit there. Although, maybe if you stood up, it would probably come out from under the car, but... Okay, you guys, after about 10 minutes, Becky was able to get it off. I'm sure a lot of people are like, why didn't you help her? Becky could barely fit under the car, and I know damn well I wouldn't have been able to. Um, it was... If you got out of the car, it would have definitely lifted up probably a few considerable inches, Amber. Okay, the reason it was probably stuck under there is because it's carrying about... A thousand extra pounds between just two people you guys, believe it was. you guys know those big red like buckets of Folgers coffee it was that and it was stuck on something under a car that like it was latched onto there and it didn't want to yeah I bet it was stuck under your side girl and I don't know how but I was able to squeeze under there and get it off um which I'm so glad about like honestly that was so scary like the sound of it anytime your car makes weird noises you're triggered like you're like oh my god what's happening so um, we're also gonna meet our friends Hannah and Rafe and I told Rafe about it and she was like it was probably the universe stopping you from being at a certain point at a certain time in case something bad happened or whatever and I think like that too you know I'm oh girl shut up <laughs> much that person like you have a path everything happens for a reason and I try my hardest to look at like positives and negative situations even though that <laughs> that scared Becky and I both like little things like that you know but you have to keep like a good mind frame or whatever but yeah maybe it was the universe's way of saying hey we need to stop you real quick because we don't want you to be on interstate or this road or whatever. You're Becky was probably looking forward to that sweet fucking release. Dealing with your shit all the damn time. You do? I don't know. Just something like that. But anyways, I'm gonna go give me some sushi, which I'm like pumped because when I'm craving sushi, like there's no into it. Like Oh, now she's magically not feeling bad anymore. Let's just go eat some raw fish. Trevor, why was that guy running like that? There was like this random guy. He was like wearing like professional clothing and he was like running across the field. What well, was in the field? It was like a, you know, about, like a bunch of crafts. Who knows what people do, what they do. Anyways, not normally. I'll catch you guys later.
Okay, so we're actually at Walmart right now. And instead of shopping for myself, whoa, this is so blurry. Instead of shopping for myself, uh, girl, you should be up and walking. Ugh. Actually, going to I called the homeless shelter and um, I re asked them like what they want, and they answered differently this time. So they want just like a bunch of different things. So I decided that I'm actually going to be buying for them today. And I get inspired when I watch other people donate, like in vlogs and stuff. And it inspires me to do the same so one of the reasons why i am filming this is because i want to inspire others to donate to your local shelter whether it be an animal shelter or a homeless shelter um toys for tots because i'm also gonna be doing that this year and just random things like that where we feel like someone needs help i think the homeless shelter is like near and dear to my heart is because both my parents and my brother they've all been homeless at one point and my dad used to live in a homeless shelter and i would visit him there all the time and this subject just hits home for me and it makes me sad because it's like really cold outside and i just it just breaks my heart really so i'm gonna help the best way that i can so we're gonna get some stuff for that and then I think within the next few days, we're actually going to drop it off at the homeless shelter, which I'm really excited for. So I'm going to be getting some socks. I'm going to do black and white. So I'm going to get some girl gloves. I'm trying to see. I'm pretty sure these are like one size fits all. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are the same. So I'm going to get some of these. A couple of these because this is like a really cute color. So I'm about to go to like the hygiene area. I'm going to get things like toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, anything that's hy like hygiene. Um, cold stores are really popular right now. Hi. So I'm going to get some like stuff for lips that can help with that and just anything like lotion, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to go do that and I can show you like a glimpse of everything I get. Okay. So now I'm going to get things like liquid, like some waters and Gatorades. Um, I already got all the hygiene stuff. So um, people were walking by, but that's okay. So, um, and then I'm going to get like paper plates. I mean, I'm not going to give her any shit at all for doing all this because like our girl has more than enough she could be doing this once a week but she chooses not to plastic silverware um napkins toilet paper and then they want like canned foods for the top like you could just take the top off by um the little pop top you guys know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna go get those things this is what the cart looks like so far it's it's a lot we also need a litter so <laughs> don't mind that but so the cart is actually looking like a madhouse right now so far we have everything they have asked for um including more so it's just like a lot of stuff um and we still have to get the cans and there's no room so i'm just gonna use a little scooter you could have gotten a lot more girly i might i don't know I, I guess i'll use a scooter i was gonna say i'll put this in here but still there'd be like nowhere to put the cans so i'm probably gonna get like majority soups and veggies and cans soups because it's like cold out so we got the cans with tons of soups and veggies and some diced tomatoes so i think we're gonna head out now okay last minute I'm also gonna get some like mixed fruits like these and maybe some applesauces because you can never go wrong. There's also like strawberry apple applesauce and just like random little things like that. So that was literally the best few hundred dollars I've ever spent. And it just feels really good to help people who need it. Next I'm gonna do um, animal shelters, well, and animal shelter. Um, oh, by the way. Yeah, she never did that. I met a subscriber, so if you're watching, hello, it was nice to meet you. It was like, I was in like a hurry, I was putting things in the trunk and I was cold, so I hope I didn't seem like standoffish. Oh my God, like I always get like nervous for some reason, I don't know, because it's like, no, you definitely probably were because you were probably thinking like, Becky's making me help her. I just want to sit down. I've gotten recognized easily over 20 times and each time it's a very different dynamic. Um, so I always get like really nervous, but every subscriber I've ever met has been super sweet. So don't be scared to come up to me. And I swear there's been one time I was in the store and like these people were like taking pictures of me and like snickering. It A could have been because like, hi, I'm a fat person in a freaking scooter or because they knew me i don't know that's actually happened at a restaurant too um that's a whole story but yeah so i'm thinking within the next few days we're gonna go to the homeless shelter things are gonna be heavy like all those cans i ended up getting just a few more things after i shut off the vlog and yeah i'm just i really hope that whoever gets these things enjoys them needs them even just wants them you know what i'm saying the homeless shelter that i'm actually donating oh, to girl of course they are what the fuck <laughs> is it's a place where people are transitioning from one place to another and yeah so so it's called the halfway house it is cold outside and i mean if it feels good in this moment i'd rather it be cold than like super hot but it does make my herpes <laughs> feel worse because what flares it up is like always the cold so it is hurting i need to put some car next on it because that's what i've been using which has been helping so i'm going to clean out my bag and i've been wanting to do like a what's in my purse i figured this would be the perfect time because it's a literal mess in here and i want you guys to see like the real deal of what's in here i mean to me it's a mess who knows but i also got a dm from a couple of people on Instagram saying, isn't that purse your friend's purse that you bought for Christmas? Why are you using it? And I was like, what? No. <laughs> nice fake Louis. What I said in the video is that I was shopping for my friend and I got her a purse and I happened to see this one as well. When I saw this purse, I was like, I have to have it. So no, it's not my friend's purse. I just saw it when I was buying a purse for her. So on these two pockets, I don't have anything. On this back pocket, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything new. So I know I have stuff on these front pockets because I was just crammed stuff in there. So first thing we have, I'm trying not to show it to my piece of personal. What is this? Oh, okay. This one when I went to the doctor, my receipt, because I do pay out of pocket. We have a random lipstick that I- Just 
wild. <laughs> Four days ago, so I don't know why it's even still in there. Next little zippy, because there's two. Oh yeah, I forgot. I took these pictures today. <laughs> They're not good. Oh my god, I tried to take a picture of my sushi and it did not come out right. <laughs> Girl, can you imagine someone in there with a fucking Polaroid camera taking photos of their food? I mean, I'm okay with it though. I still like having a Polaroid, it's fun. So two other things I had in that mechanical pencil. I'm not sure why I actually have that because I usually use that in my bedroom. I don't know why it's in there. And then this is actually the lip I'm using today. It's melted matte, Too Faced in the color Sell Out. Love that color. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Sell Out, huh, Amber? So now in the big one. This is the part that is probably messy. Okay. So, oh yeah, okay, so I have this perfume. It's Nanette Lepore, Beautiful Times. I'm honestly thinking about looking it up and buying like the actual size because I love it so much. We have my phone. Obviously, hi, I always need a phone. Um, this is my wallet, this is what I use as a wallet. And on the inside, we just have a little bit of money, you know, my normal cards. We have change, I need to put in the change bucket because we do have one. Um, my ID, I mean, literally nothing special in that sense. We have a receipt. Oh, this was from just today. Um, all the stuff we bought from for the homeless shelter, which I'm super pumped about. Oh, this is just a Weight Watchers thing. I ended up getting another one in the mail. <laughs> you guys remember the one um, I got when I unboxed it with you guys? Unboxed it, opened it with you guys. They sent me another one, but this one I was meant to, I was supposed to get first. So they accidentally messed up on that, which is totally fine. So we have another receipt. Girl, why are they, <laughs> why are you being sent this stuff when you're not even losing weight? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this is from when we went to Chili's. <laughs> the day that I vlogged it, um, throw that away. We have a deodorant situation. Always need deodorant, just in case. Although I never have to re reapply throughout the day. Um, we have a jelly lip quencher, which I like never use, but you guys, there's a little flower inside of this. Let me see if you guys can see it. Do you guys see the flower? Isn't that freaking adorable? Obviously my Polaroid, I always need my Polaroid. It's like a fucking bug stuck in it. <laughs> because I do a photo a day, even though I didn't do one yesterday, which I'm kind of mad about. We have another receipt. This is for, oh, this is for today. When I went got sushi, yum. Okay, I have Becky's wallet in here, which is- Oh my god, and all the crooked fucking picture frames on the wall. <laughs> Place is falling apart. Not a norm. The only reason I have it in here is because in the store, she started getting kind of hot because she's been wearing that like sweater jacket thing because it's cold outside, but she took it off and her wallet was in there and she didn't want to like lose it. So I was like, oh, hold it. We have another receipt. Please tell me why. Oh, this was a continuation of the Chili's receipt. I don't understand, like that's weird. Uh -huh. Girl, I'm sure there's plenty of fucking Chili's, Applebee's, sushi all those places plenty of receipts in there i'm sure we have a hand cure ultra moisturizing cream which i think i've used just like once we have a mirror it says choose happy this is one of the first gifts that becky ever got me i always need a good old mirror i need to redo my nails already i always need a mirror just to touch up something carmax or carmax excuse me this is like my go-to sometimes i'll be wearing it and people will be like what's the lip gloss you're wearing and i'll be like Ugh. it's classified lip balm medicated it soothes it heals and it protects i love this stuff it reminds me of my dad because he always had it when i was here but that's everything i had in my purse so Throw away all these receipts, this, this random stuff that's in here. I just need to really clean it out because I don't like having like a ton of stuff in here. Oh yeah, and I want to show you guys. So the only thing I bought at the store for us was the litter because the cats needed litter and I got Twinkie a new bowl to eat out of because she's on a little diet situation. So she has to have her food measured out and this is what- Look how cute this is- Girl, you, that's what you should be doing too. <laughs> it's like it's so tiny. She does eat less food than that, but look how cute. It's like gold and just adorbs from a little baby. So I'm gonna go- Hold it right up to your face, girl. Yeah, why not? wash that so we just got done watching the second episode of the new l word um it comes on showtime every sunday at eight and we watched it i cried three times in it like the l word i used to watch it a long time ago i binged it and it's just one of the greatest shows so it just resonates with me and the characters in it are my bae oh also though one of the new characters the blonde girl um <laughs> i might have a low-key crush but you know we're just chilling and just watching it happen um but yeah and we finally found out, well, I don't want to give anything away, so never mind, I'm not going to go there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, Amber. Always a class act. A class clown. First, Becky nearly hits someone, and then she does hit something minutes later. Keep telling us she's safe to drive. Yeah, this was really bad. Becky almost hits a car. Becky runs over something. Amber, I'm getting sushi. <laughs> Of course our girl had to go eat, and she just wanted to feed the homeless that day, so she had to go do that too. She definitely just needed an excuse to go back to Walmart. It's the universe telling you twice to give Becky a break from driving, for real. 
In case Amber sees us, I'm glad she's donating, but homeless shelters get a lot of donations and volunteers around Christmas and then not nearly enough the rest of the year. I hope you are able to do this not just at Christmas. Bruh, she did it this once and that was it. Like, it was just to try and give herself some, like, clout to be like, I'm not such a horrible human, but she is. Based off of Becky not seeing the car and being honked at, clearly shows she should not be driving at all. I mean, accidents do happen, but like, that was a bit much. No, Amber, the universe is trying to tell Becky to stop driving. Us running over the coffee can was an omen. It was warning us not to do something. Proceeds to go get sushi. I'm pretty sure Becky could have gotten it out faster if you got out of the car. Exactly. I can't even imagine what Becky is thinking and how white her knuckles are on that steering wheel having to listen to ALR always rambling to a camera while in the car. I could never. Wow, already on day 16. Time moves so fast. Seems like just yesterday was November 31st. <laughs> oh, well anyways guys, we did get this video up, you know, so it'll be a longer one for ya. But yeah. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Of course, we'll be doing day 17 and 18 tomorrow or whenever, <laughs> whenever the video gets filmed. Check out my video from yesterday about, you know, Amber's latest update on her moving situation because I'm still real confused about it, but maybe it's just me. I don't think it's just me. But anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next one and take care.